Hello guys, this is Linus Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. If you were about to go fishing and you even invested in this extendable aluminium fishing rod rest, but then you realize that fishing might get tough, then I suggest you take this aluminum tripod anyway and go DXing instead. All right guys, so this story is neither about the aluminium fishing rod rest nor this is a story about the best possible tripod for your body stick antenna actually this is a story on how we can adapt things around us for our ham radio needs you know maybe it may sound funny and fun but sometimes it could be serious in some emergency disaster communications you just need to adapt to your ham radio needs whatever you have at hand so today i'm gonna adapt the aluminium fishing rod rest for my body stick antenna it's gonna be a useful approach to things around us stay tuned can you see this the first flowers from under the snow how beautiful and the coil you may hear the hum which comes from the highway because it's you know it's on the hill and all the acoustics are somehow very nice very strange this is my improvised tripod for my body stick adventure for today everything fits into the pouch which comes together with this aluminium fishing rod rest and that's another additional bonus of, of, of this cheap thing here's a coil a modified coil you see i modified the original clip on contacts what you call it of body stick into a very easy to make sliding contact there's a separate video on my channel just I leave a link in the description if you're interested in how to make it your one for yourself that's just one to three and Bob's your uncle very very quick and easy way to make it and here's what's in the pouch so the aluminum tripod and also the antenna the base element made of two tubes just to make it a bit longer and this is a classical original antenna short one and this is also from uh, body stick from body pole uh, very good telescoping whip which uh, extends almost up to three meters length if it only will be you know not too heavy for this lightweight tripod and you not flip, flip it over but we will see we will see just just in a moment the legs of the tripod are easily extendable up to a longer height and it's gonna be pretty pretty tall enough the construction so let's take a quick look at what's on the tripod so this is the original parts from the original uh, fishing rod rest as it comes from the from the shop so in order to adapt it for the ballistic needs you need to drill one hole here the another hole here drill drill it through simply and that's it and then if you are lucky as i am to have this body pulse versa t hub then it ideally fits ideally fits into these holes uh, by the means of these two bolts we have the versa t hub firmly sitting on a tripod and then you know we can use the versity as it uh, as we want to it's just a coincidence you know that it so happened so i i only need i only needed to you know to make two holes through and that's it here we see a hook which could be used you know to hook something like your backpack or a brick or whatever if you feel that you know the tripod is shaky or it's too windy and you know just to prevent it from from flipping over so the weight might might help 
So everything is, is foreseen for this fishing device, actually. It serves very well for the ham radio. It needs two elements of uh, lower tube installed. And here I'm gonna install the coil. Here's the coil, here's the whip. It's very quick and easy. Let's do that. All right, so the coil is in place. This longer whip. I bought also a very useful thing. It's a kind of a reinforcement sleeve. You know, it just, you know, screws on and makes this uh, this part of the antenna more firm and more sturdy in case it, you know, vibrates in the wind. It's 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 just to reinforce it. First of all, you need to extend the whip. Otherwise, it won't be possible to reach the top. All right, so that's a very nice and long whip. It's not so easy, you know. If it's very windy, then it's even more complicated. Then, in these cases, the quick mount, the quick release, it's worthwhile to use it then. All right, so that's actually done. The counterpoise, it's going to be elevated counterpoise somewhere that direction into the bushes for this these elements could be used very nicely it's a very nice design you know these are arms rotatable arms which could be used you know you can install two telescoping whips into it and, and you have the V shape maybe so some next time we will experiment with this so but today i'm experiment with the vertical like this it doesn't matter in this case today which direction it is gonna go i did fix the counterpoise wire to this arm here all right it's gonna be elevated radial it's an original wire which comes with the winder and the wire itself from uh, from uh, body pole uh, kit so it's um roughly almost 10 meter long so and you need to adjust the length accordingly to the band so more or less roughly uh, i'm going to use helicraft kx2 today it's got its own tuner so then it's then it's no problem at all but actually you can you can uh, make your source without the tuner with this setup uh, as you know long as you adjust the 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 tip on the coil and the length of the counterpoise wire then you can, you know, be in the vicinity less than one to two uh, of the SWR. All right, so it's all So now we need to jump with this connector to this side. And now, so this is a another nice thing from Buddy Paul. It's a RF choking balloon. So it's universal for the dipole and you know whatever you use and it's it's designed to use together with the with the versity we're gonna have rf choke we're gonna have counterpoise and we know we're gonna have the coil loaded whip very nice setup all right so now i've got my anacraft kx2 on 40 meters I need to adjust my coil for the best audio, for the for the more sound coming. I have I have five watt output and SWR just one to one. Nothing, not you know, no need for the tuner. The tuner is off at the moment, so no need for the tuner. Actually, very quickly, just you know, a few few moves and you tuned. Delta Lima 1 Alpha Sugar Alpha Portable
So the German station Delta Lima 1 Alpha Sugar Alpha Stroke Portable 559, very very weak signal as I said due to propagation but still we made a QSO Now I switch to 30 meter band there's a station already very loud so but I need to tune my Alright, so this is uh, higher in frequency so we need less inductance so th then I I think I have to move my contact upwards. All right, so I think it's here. So there's WR still three to one without tuning uh, the counterpoise wire. I will run quickly and shorten a little bit the counterpoise wire. We will see the effect. Stand, stand by. All right. I made it shorter. And voila. <laughs> I just made it one meter shorter. 1.5 to 1. Papa Golf for India. Operator Joe So. All right, on 20 meters is the CQ Worldwide SSB WPX contest. So, so 20 meters, excellent reception, choir and very loud stations. All right, let's let's go on 17 meter band. Yes. So on 17 meters, I used uh, the antenna tuner in the KX2. Just you know, I was too lazy to run and adjust to the counterpoise again. If you have a antenna tuner inbuilt in your radio and it's capable to tune, uh, then it's very good. The the antenna tuner in KX2 is excellent. It tunes very wide range of antennas of impedances and uh, so. I excluded the coil on, on the 17 meter band and I did, didn't adjust the, the counterpoise. Instead, I used the antenna tuner and tuned it very quickly one to one. And now I have, uh, you know, very loud stations on 17 meters coming. 
that simple device like aluminum fishing rod rest might be employed as a very efficient tripod for the vert for the simple coil loaded vertical antenna it's very lightweight it's rapidly deployable and it's efficient one elevated radio makes all the difference one elevated radio is very very good solution so basically i have not a vertical but i have a l type of an antenna or kind of a you know actually a dipole just where one one shoulder of a dipole is very low low hanging like uh, one meter above the ground like three feet above the ground and the other shoulder is a vertical so that's that's a very good setup guys and in the preparedness situation in the emergency situation or just in a rapid deployment in the quick a quick uh, beach situation fun situation no emergency situation uh, on the terrace on the beach and whatever on the top of the mountain this works and with the qrp this radio or any other radio you know producing three to five watts you can be on the air on 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 the bands like 40 30 meters and up what else can i want nothing so that's it for today thanks for watching please leave me a comments in the comment section what are you doing in spring in springtime you know in summertime what's your portable setup would you like to use you know the fishing rod rest for your vertical write it down in the comment section thanks for watching peace and victory for ukraine and 73 see you in my next videos this is linas limo yankee 2 hotel cheerio